Hey guys, what's up? Hey, welcome to the video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about this uh, Rare Guns N' Roses vinyl that I picked up at a record fair recently. Um, it's one that I've not seen before and it's basically called uh, Skulls and Bones. Um, which, yeah, just wanted to talk about it and sort of what songs are on it and stuff. Uh, this is the vinyl which is a picture vinyl which is pretty much the same as the cover. Um, got the Guns N' Roses, it's got a skull and gun and rose which obviously ties in with the title of the vinyl. And then the back a picture of the original appetite lineup and the track listing which is also the back cover of the sleeve. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go through a run through of all the songs on there. I've just listened to them now. So there's Whole Lot of Rosie, which is an ACDC track. I'm sure you'll all know that, which Guns N' Roses performed quite regularly back in the early days, back in like 87. And there's a this is a live, one of those live performances we did of it, um, which is pretty cool, which you'll probably find online as well. Uh, there's a, a Sweet Child of Mine on there from Appetite, um, which this is a remix of the song that I've not, I've not heard before and didn't really know existed, so I'm not sure who it's by, but if anyone does know, then I'd, I'd love to know, please, please comment if you do. But it's like a more of an upbeat sort of anthem sort of vibe to it, I think, more so than the original version. Which was quite cool to hear, it was quite surprising when to hear that. I thought, I thought it would be another live version, but it's not. It's, it's pretty, so it's quite cool to hear the remix. And then there's Mama Kin, which is an, an Aerosmith song which Guns N' Roses performed regularly again in like for early days in 87, 88 and they performed with Aerosmith in 92 in Paris and that's the version that's on the record which is again pretty cool and a lot of people might have heard of it and next up there's the Blues which is now known as Street of Dreams off of Chinese Democracy. Um, this is a live version of it they did in 2001. Um, and the song was known as the Blues, that's why it's called. Uh, it was, this is Rockin' Rio 2001, one of the first live performances of the song and one of the first with the new band. Which, quali the quality isn't the best quali quality, but didn't probably expect it as a live performance, but nevertheless it's on, on the record and it's cool to hear that version on the record, I think. So the B-side, I think, is the better side, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot, a lot more of the rarer, rarer songs on there. Uh, there's Oh My God, which if you might, not, might may or may not know was released in 1999, uh, for, for, when it, the first recording with the then new lineup. Um, it was released for the end, end of as a single for the end of days soundtrack, um, which is a film featuring Arnold, Schwar Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you didn't know, so if that uh, if that's cool to hear it on the record, I sort of wasn't expecting to see it on there on one or on any vinyl because it's it was never like officially released as such on an album or anything, so that's cool to hear. Uh, there's Anxious Disease, which I don't know if many people know about. It's basically by a band called The Outpatients, which features West Arkeen on guitar, which who, he worked with Guns N' Roses quite a bit, John Lop, like The Appetite Days and The Illusion Days, and helped write some of the songs. Like it's so easy he helped to write uh, one, one or two others. Um, so that's his band and it basically features Axel and Slash on the, that song. 
Axel, Axel on vocals, obviously, and Slash on guitar. Um, but, um, yeah, that's the title track as well on the album that the Outpatients did, which some of the other songs on that feature, like other Guns N' Roses members, knows uh, Duff featured on one and Izzy featured on one, I believe. So, yeah, def definitely worth checking out if anyone's interested and not heard it before. Cool. Next is Mia Din the Bedouins, which is off of Chinese Democracy. And yeah, this is a live performance we did in 2001, in, in New Year's Day 2001, uh, for the first performance with a new lineup and first performance of the song. So it's quite yeah, pretty cool to hear that, and, um, and quite cool where they got it from. I'm not 100% sure, but it's quite quite cool that it's on there and quite cool to hear it. And quality is quality is quite good, I think, for that song considering how they might have got it from. Um, I'm, I'm not again. I'm not 100% sure, but nevertheless, it's on there and it sounds good, and the version's good as well. Um, Next up is uh, Come Together, which is probably you'll know is a Beatles song, is which Axel Rose and Bruce Springsteen performed in 1994 at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, John Lennon was inducted in there as a solo artist, and unfortunately, unfortunately he couldn't be there, which I'm sure you all know why. But so Axel, Axel Rose and Bruce Springsteen jumped in and sang that song together. Um, well, John was inducted, so again, pretty cool to hear that on a vinyl. Um, wasn't really expecting to see that on a vinyl, but it's, which again, surprising, so pretty cool to hear. And last was a song called Under My Wheels, which I don't, didn't really know much about prior to getting the vinyl, but it's, and as far as I know, it's an Alice, Alice Cooper song. Um, which he wrote in 71, I believe, for the, and released in 71 for the, what, what album we were doing then, and I don't know what it's called, but I'm not really massive Alice Cooper fan, and not, not, don't really know much about him, so as well, so and basically it did another version in 88, I believe, 88 or 89, it did another version of this with Guns N' Roses, um, I think Axel and Slash featured on there again, and maybe Duff on Dizzy, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I know Axel and Slash did, anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to hear, I've never really heard it before, but it's a pretty, pretty catchy song, in my opinion. And, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, overall, I'm quite pretty happy with the vinyl, you know, it's definitely worth getting, it's only cost me 20 quid, <laughs> which is pretty pretty good what it is, I think, and yeah, but that's it, so I'll show you the cover, the cover's pretty simple, and I know I've been through it, so yeah, I'll, I'm, I've got one or two more rare vinyls that I'll try and review at some point, um, I'm not sure when, but I'll Till then I'll keep you posted and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.